Coming up on today's show, Tesla gets a $1 trillion valuation as it announces a massive new deal with Hertz and Uber to get as many as 200,000 Model 3s on Hertz's fleet. Lucid stock takes off as the company confirms its first deliveries will happen this weekend. And everyone and their dog seemingly signs a deal for solid state battery goodness. These stories and more coming next. This is Ecotricity's Ecotech Roundup show from New Zealand's only carbon zero certified renewable electricity company. We only source from wind, hydro and solar and we are the leading supplier of electricity to electric vehicles in New Zealand. Switch today at ecotricity.co.nz. Welcome back to another roundup in the world of clean cars and green energy. So put on your favourite Sunday shoes, grab a drink and join us for the next 10 minutes. Fresh from its Q3 earnings last week, Tesla announced a massive new deal this week with Hertz that not only marks the rental company's transition to electric cars, but also resulted in Tesla's share price soaring to a market cap of more than one trillion US dollars. Accompanied by a brand new ad campaign featuring Tom Brady, Hertz is going all in on EVs with an initial order of 100,000 Model 3 sedans from Tesla to be delivered over the next 14 years months, and the option to double that to 200,000 Model 3s as required. In addition to being made available on its public rental fleet, Hertz has also inked a deal with Uber that will see the rideshare service make Tesla Model 3s available to Uber drivers for about $300 US per week. Elon Musk confirmed that Tesla did not give Hertz special treatment or discounts. Some people have expressed concern that this order will delay private customer orders for Model 3 and Model Y but we do know Tesla is planning to dramatically expand its production next year. I made an in-depth video on this story, so check out the link below for more info. German solar electric car startup Sono Motors has been edging its Sion solar electric car ever closer to production, and this week it confirmed it has reached 15,000 reservations for the same. What marks the Sion apart from other EVs in the marketplace is not its crowdfunded origins or indeed its innovative solar panel adorned body panels. It's the starting price of its vehicle, the equivalent of $25,600 US dollars after incentives. That is substantially more than the sub $20,000 price it was first given when it debuted as an engineering concept back in 2017, but still far more affordable than most EVs on the market today. But as it reaches production, Sono has announced the almost inevitable price rise to $28,600 after incentives when it reaches its 16,000th reservation or on November 15th, whichever happens first. Amazon's all-electric delivery vehicles produced by Rivian for Amazon are part of the mega corporation's plans to make itself a little cleaner and greener while simultaneously satisfying the world's insatiable appetite for buying things they really don't need with one-day delivery. This week, we learned via a filing with the US National Highway Traffic Safety Administration that, contrary to popular opinion, there will be multiple versions of the electric delivery van, and some may even be available for non-Amazon fleet use. The EDV500, EDV700, and EDV900 all have different capacities and ranges, with the EDV900 getting the shortest range but largest carrying capacity. A choice of single motor front dual motor front or dual motor all-wheel drive will be offered. Having driven the R1T, link below, I would love to test one of these out. Just over a month after it had held a ceremony to mark the start of series production at its Cascarande facility in Arizona, the very first Lucid Air Sedan Dream Editions are being delivered. Lucid announced midweek that the first customers were scheduled to get their cars on October 30th, and as a consequence, the company's share price soared 47% on Thursday. While Lucid isn't saying exactly how many cars it's made to date, we do know that only 520 Lucid Air Dream Editions, the launch spec limited edition variant of the Lucid Air sedan, will be made. Next year, Lucid says it will produce 20,000 examples of its luxury car and has officially set the date of its first public earnings report to go public after it went public earlier this year via a SPAC. Scheduled to take place on November 15th, we will of course be paying close attention.
Hyundai and Kia's parent company, which frustratingly also goes by the name Hyundai, has just announced a new partnership and strategic investment that will see both brands test a new generation of solid-state batteries made by Factorial Energy. One of a number of solid-state battery specialists, Factorial Energies developed a solid electrolyte battery cell, which it says offers between 20 to 50% longer range per charge and dramatically improved safety characteristics when compared to lithium-ion batteries of a similar physical size, all while retaining cost parity with current lithium-ion batteries. At the moment, Factorial says it has produced 40 amp-hour cells that perform well at room temperature, and the new partnership with Hyundai will see Factorial cells tested in Hyundai and key badged EVs, test vehicle integration and co-developed plans for large solid-state production in the future. Watch this space. Tesla's FSD beta program has been pushing out incremental updates at an increasingly frequent rate as more and more customers gain access to the public beta program. FSD Beta 10.3 was supposed to roll out last Friday, but a problem with the software was found causing an issue with, quote, left turns at traffic lights. After Elon Musk took to Twitter to point out that, quote, this has to be expected with beta software, adding, quote, it is impossible to test all hardware configurations in all conditions with internal QA, hence public beta, end quote. A few days later, FSD 10.3 did roll out and Tesla has confirmed confirmed that version 10.4 is coming this time next week, if all goes well. The issues with 10.3's initial rollout doesn't look good for the company, but then if Apple can roll out a brand new version of Final Cut Pro to customers that causes YouTubers to take three full days to produce a news roundup show, I guess Tesla can experience bugs too. Early adapter woes? Euro NCAP published its latest crash test results this week and two all-electric models sat at the top of the five-star list, the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and the Ford Mustang Mark e Scoring 88% for adult occupancy and 86% for child occupant safety, the Hyundai Ioniq 5 fared less well for pedestrian safety, 63%, but scored a respectable 88% for its advanced driver assistance features. Meanwhile, Ford's Mustang Mark E came out top of the list with a 92% adult occupant and 86% child occupant score, with its pedestrian safety and advanced driver assistance features scoring at 69% and 82% respectively. It's time for SEMA, the all-American custom car and hot rod event in Las Vegas. And that means that a number of custom and high-power electric models will be on display. The Hummer all-electric EV, due to launch next year, will be in attendance, with GMC due to showcase three Edition 1 models, one SUV and two pickups, along with a selection of more than 200 Hummer-branded accessories that the company says will be available when the truck goes on sale. For SEMA, they will include a retractable tonneau cover, off-road recovery kit, roof-mounted 50-inch light bar, cargo management rails and more. You might think that 200 accessories at launch is a bit much for any new vehicle, but considering the Hummer nameplate and how it's being marketed at fairly wealthy individuals, it seems completely on brand to go all out on customization. GMC wants you to make your truck your own. SK Innovation, fresh from producing a major partnership with Ford that will see the two build multiple gigafactories for EV battery packs, has signed a joint development and a memorandum of understanding with Solid Power that will see the two develop solid-state battery packs. Just like the previous solid-state story in today's show, this announcement will see Solid Power and SK Innovation work together to commercialize solid-state batteries in the near future. The first step, we're told, is to develop a solid-state battery using NCM cathode materials and high-content silicon anodes, which Solid Power believes could reach an energy density of 930 watt-hours per litre or higher, which is a 33% improvement on current lithium-ion chemistries. If successfully completed, the collaboration will then see scale production tests to confirm Solid Power's cells can be produced on existing lithium-ion production lines. Eventually, Solid Power will use SK-ON, SK Innovation's battery arm, to produce solid-state batteries at high volume.
As we've quickly discovered at the age of Tesla, the benefits of over-the-air software updates for electric vehicles are wide and varied. You don't have to visit a dealership or a service center every time there's an improvement or bug fix for your car, and when new features are developed, you can get them even if your car is a few years old. Although Tesla is the king of OTA, we've seen plenty of automakers join OTA World, including Volkswagen, Polestar, Volvo, and Ford. But Audi? Well, Audi is still relying on in-person dealership visits to roll out a software update for its early e-tron SUVs, with about 30,000 e-tron 55 Quattro owners told this week that there's a new software update capable of improving their car's range by 5%. Sadly, though, you'll have to go to the Audi dealership to have it applied. Still, you do get to go further per charge afterwards, so... And finally, Chinese electric car company Xpeng has long fashioned itself on Tesla, promising high-tech cars with innovative features. And just like Tesla and many other automakers this year, it's just held its annual technology day. At it, we saw plenty of new technology, including a new super-fast charging tech that adds a claimed 124 miles, 200 kilometers of range in just five minutes. But the thing that really caught our attention from the day was a fully autonomous robotic unicorn that was marketed as being your best friend. It did look like it was designed for children, but screw it. If we had to choose between a faceless Tesla bot and a unicorn with an animated face that we could sing the unicorn song with, I'm gonna go with a unicorn. Especially if it had a built-in ice cream dispenser. You know. And on that note, we are done for the day. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on our next episode. And if you haven't switched yet, why not switch to New Zealand's only Carbon Zero certified renewable electricity company? It is super easy to make the switch and you'll be helping New Zealand wean itself off dirty energy and onto clean, green power that will keep the land beautiful for generations to come. I'll be back soon with more great videos for you all to enjoy. But until then, I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield. Kakite! See you next time.